Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here, and today we have the reveal for the shark support, and I cannot wait to see what they have. I already read them, but let's get right into them. First off, we have Abyss Shark. It's a level 5 water fish, 1200 attacks, 700 defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If the only monster you control are water monsters, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, add one level 3 or 5 one or three to five mon fish monster from your deck to your hand except abyss shark for the rest of this turn you cannot special summon monsters except water monsters and only one and also on once only if number monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent in a battle involving another monster double that battle damage if this card is can or uh, if this card would be used as for a exceed summon of a number monster you could treat this as level three or four so being level 5 extender is pretty good. Very, very interesting what they did. After that, we have the next shark. It is a level 5 water with 1100 and 800, and it is crystal shark. You can only use the first effect of this card once per turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, target a water monster on the field, special on this card, and if you do, have the target to the monster's attack. But banish it. Banish this card if it leaves the field. For the rest of the turn, it locks you into seed monsters which is fine but that's actually pretty good and it has the same effect as the other shark uh abyss shark where it, you can make it a level three or four if it's used for a number monster next we have the nash cards so we have barian's chaos draw activate this card you must draw it for your draw normal draw in your draw phase reveal it and you keep it revealed until the start of the main phase one activate one of these effects Send a 7th normal spell from your deck to the graveyard. This effect becomes that spell's activated effect. Or you can special summon up to 2 monsters from the deck with their names, with their effects negated. And if you do, exceed summon one number monster using monsters you control as material, including all those monsters. So this is actually a very good extender for a any rank 1 to 10, which is insane or 11, 12, depending on how high ranks go. Then we have the next one being 7th Ascension. This is actually a very nasty spell. You can either add one of these to your hand or place it on top of the deck once per turn. You put a 7th spell or trap card except Ascension, one Baryon spell or trap card, or one rank up magic quick play spell card to the top of your deck or add it to your hand. So now essentially you have six copies of every Baryon rank up or seventh spell or trap, which is nice. And if your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then send one rank up magic spell from your hand to the graveyard. This effect becomes that activated effect. So you can turbo out seventh one instantly or any of the rank up magics, which is insane in my opinion. Now finally we have the last card. We are only missing number four, or we're missing three and four, I think, which is very interesting because that's two cards that we're missing. And finally, we have Eternal Seven, target an Exceed monster that you control between 101 and 107 in its name, or Exceed monster that has monsters as material. Then activate one of the following effects. Negate the effect of one monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the targeted monster until the end of the turn. So this is like a Dogmatica punishment. Or detach all materials from that targeted monster. Special summon a number exceed from your graveyard. And you can only use one effect of this card's name once per turn. So number monsters are the Baryon numbers now have... A Dogmatic Punishment, which is nice, and it's even searchable with the Ascension. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. I hope you guys did enjoy. But anyways, see you guys in the next video.